Hello everyone. Welcome to Karma Education. This is the channel for UGC NET education subject and it has a target to cover whole syllabus of UGC NET education subject. In this video, I am Konkana Pal going to discuss about the contribution of Secondary Education Commission 1953 on teacher education. This topic is included in the first subunit of unit 2 history politics and economics of education of UGC education net syllabus in the background of secondary education commission 1953 we can say that uh, people of india observed a huge change in the political scenario just after the independence in the year 1947 which also had an impact on education system maulana abul kalam azad who was the then education minister who addressed to the Central Advisory Body of Education or CAB to organize its 14th meeting on January 1948 to examine the existing situation of secondary education system of contemporary India. Government of India set up Secondary Education Commission on 23rd September 1952. Secondary Education Commission 1953 was also known as Mudaliar Commission because of Dr. A. Lakshman Swami Mudaliar, Vice Chancellor of Madras University, was the Chairman of Secondary Education Commission. Mudaliar Commission was inaugurated on 6th October 1952 and submitted its report on June 1953. Principal of Central Institute of Education, A. N. Basu, was the Secretary of the Secondary Education Commission. The Commission submitted its report on the basis of secondary education only. The report was of 244 pages which was divided by 14 or 15 chapters. Now we will go through the defects of existing education system which was identified by Secondary Education Commission 1953. The aim of education is always all round development of a child. But the then education system was not concerned about the personality development of a child. There was no space for any regional language or any mother tongue. The medium of instruction was English only. Education was not related with life. It was totally bookish. There was no space for holistic development of child. Vocational education cannot be observed at that time. The commission also observed defects in teaching method and evaluation procedure. If we classify the recommendation area of Mudaliar commission broadly, then we get this four point. First one is development of democratic citizen, then development of personality, then improvement of vocational efficiency and education for leadership. Reorganization of secondary education as per the recommendation of Secondary Education Commission 1953. It says that secondary education should cover the age group of 11 to 17 years. It means 7 years. It can be classified into three major parts like primary or junior basic education it it will cover four to five years it means class one to class five then middle or senior basic or lower secondary education will cover three years it means class six to eight then higher secondary education for three years means class nine to eleven class nine to eleven means the recommendation of Secondary Education Commission was that uh, the intermediate class should be abolished. It means class 11th and 12th standard should be abolished. Like uh, how it will be, uh, how it can be conducted. It recommend to add 11th standard with higher secondary education and add the 12th standard with college. That's why the higher secondary education uh, duration should be 3 years from class 9 to class 11. Okay.
this is the uh, very important recommendation of mudaliyar commission for the all round development of child mudaliyar commission recommend to establish multi purpose schools multi purpose schools are those which cater for different tastes aptitude and objectives of the students by providing study material in various subjects as well as technical institutions should be opened for practical training medium of instruction in terms of medium of instruction there should have a position for mother tongue or regional language it should be used as medium of instruction along with uh, this national as well as foreign language should also be taught to secondary students mudaliyar commission's recommendation on curriculum curriculum of secondary education middle school curriculum includes english social studies general science mathematics art and music craft physical education and secondary higher secondary uh, curriculum includes um, uh, two broad section one is compulsory subjects and uh, and another is optional subjects compulsory subjects are like mother tongue or regional language social studies general science and craft and besides this optional subject includes humanities science technical commercial agriculture fine arts home home science etc if someone wants to crack ugc net then he or she have to study in a very strategic manner a huge syllabus you have to cover so be strategic in the syllabus it is clearly mentioned that the recommendation of commission to teacher education you have to study so just go through the mentioned commissions but the emphasis should be given to the teacher education related recommendation i have prepared this ppt just like that so now we uh, we will go directly to the teacher education related recommendation of secondary education commission 1953 by knowing the other broad area of recommendation these are textbook teaching method place of library in school guidance in education physical welfare of students examination and evaluation finance and teacher education okay now the recommendation of secondary education commission on teacher training institute there should be two different teacher training institutions one for the higher secondary pass out students or faculty member you can say for them two two academic year training is needed and uh, a separate board should be appointed to control or monitor the training institute for them and another one is one academic year training for graduate pass out faculty member this training institute should be recognized and affiliated by university they should give uh, the emphasis on uh, extra curricular activities in teacher training institutions to explore the theoretical background of teaching as well as to enhance the practical knowledge of teachers in higher education a refresher course should be implemented in that tra teacher training institutes teacher could participate in various activities through these refresher courses professional development is also an important aspect of teacher education program Uh, professional workshop should be organized for the professional development of teacher and research always proceed us towards better to explore new horizon research work is necessary in teacher training institutions the mudaliyar commission wanted to encourage teachers to take training for professional development and for this there was a recommendation that teacher need not to pay any fees to the institutions teacher training institutions but the state will give them stipend okay and for the in service uh, teacher there are also a provision that you will get full salary at the time of your training period okay 
then residential facilities will also be provided to teacher at the training center to take admission in MED course a teacher should have minimum three years teaching experiences these are the recommendation related with the improvement of teaching personal status selection and appointment procedure of teacher should be uniform throughout the country the provisionary period of teacher should be for one year both secondary and higher secondary teacher should be trained graduate and postgraduate respectively equality uh, equally qualified teachers should be paid equally commission recommended triple benefit scheme pension provident fund and life insurance for the teacher also retirement age of teachers should be increased up to 60 at the age of 60 in spite of 55 residential and medical facilities should be provided to the teachers now we will discuss uh, about the merits of the recommendation of Mudaliar Commission the Commission brings really a radical change in contemporary education system in India vocationalization of education this this was the new concept in education system and it also has given the uh, emphasis on the child centered education there was no stress on external examinations and it was uh, uh, emphasized the multi-purpose schools as well as technical schools and the suggestion was uh, to open technical schools near the industrial area so that one can get job after completing uh, his or her training technical training uh, easily okay in the demerits we can include that the problem was related with implementation of commission's recommendation women education was not the focus point of the commission it should draw attention at that time also uh, as per the recommendation of Mudaliar commission mother tongue or regional language should have the uh, uh, should have the space uh, as the medium of instruction but English language was still there as the medium of instruction so this is the demerit of secondary education commission 1953 be connected with my channel to get more information about each topic of UGC net education syllabus I am also taking online class based on education uh, net syllabus paper 2 solving uh, previous year questions with explanation to understand the pattern and trend of UGC net exam. Interested candidate comment me in the uh, chat box. Thank you.